Morning, Ferris Point Middle School. Today is Tuesday, December 20th, and it's the 8A. My name is Noah. My name is Hope. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The weather today is 36 degrees and partly cloudy. Now a message from Ms. Washington. Good morning, Sparrows Point, and welcome to this terrific Tuesday. I'm hoping that all of our students are focused and ready to learn. Now I want to give out a disclaimer. I've had several students who have stopped me and said, today, Ms. Washington, is not ugly sweater day. Please know that this is not supposed to be an ugly sweater. So my feelings are a little hurt. But then a student changed it and said, you are wonderfully dressed for the season. So thank you, Joseph Goldsmith, for knowing exactly what to say to make Miss Washington feel better. But again, please make sure that the ugly sweater uh, thing, I think, is tomorrow. But also, students, please be sensitive that some people may not think their sweater is ugly. So you may want to be a little... Um, nice about saying that or just not say anything again thank you joseph for knowing exactly what to say to make me feel better would like to kind of touch base about our attendance yesterday sixth grade you were at 90.8 percent seventh grade you were at 91.8 percent and eighth grade you were at 89.9 percent so way to go seventh grade that sounds like it's two days in a row that you have beat out sixth and eighth grade so great job seventh grade students two days until winter break <laughs> teachers two days until winter break administration two days until winter break office staff two days until winter break. I need everyone to hang in there for two more days and then it is winter break. So dig deep, come in, wear a smile, even if that's not how you're feeling because we have two more days until winter break. Hang in there. Sixth grade, I know initially I said that I needed to meet with you all tomorrow, but to be fair to Mr. Powis and the band and orchestra students, I will push that off until we return from break. I guess Ms. Ryan is upset about that. But again, I want to be fair to Mr. Powis and the band and orchestra students. So again, I will need to reschedule that. If you're upset, charge it to my head and not my heart. But again, I wanted to make sure that our band and orchestra students had ample time to rehearse. If you still need me to cover a class, I'd be more than willing to do so. Also, teachers, thank you for being team players with coverage. I know we have several teachers who are out today. Again, teachers, I appreciate you saying yes, even if that's not what you want to say. Again, I appreciate you, teachers, for digging deep, for being flexible, uh, and being true team players. Again, I also want to thank our faculty for a great faculty meeting yesterday. A huge shout out to Ms. Wilson. Again, I wanted to uh, thank all those who were a part. Um, there is a basketball game tonight. Again, I've stated my piece yesterday in regards to appropriate behavior. Want to wish our boys and girls a great game. Uh, do your very best. Continue to be great sportsmen on and off the court. I do have a couple of flashlights, although it is not flashlight Friday, but I want to go ahead and do those flashlights, so please bear with me. All right, here we go. I would like to thank our Halo students. Uh, they actually had nice motivational sayings, I believe placed in everyone's locker and also in all staff members' mailboxes. So I want to thank those students for helping out with providing positive things to say to staff and students. To Camden uh, L., Camden moved a chair for a teacher voluntarily. Um, very courteous. So again, thank you, Camden, for doing the right thing. To Ms. Spencer, doing great work and working hard. To Chad Corman, returning a student's wallet that he found. 
and also to all faculty and staff for assisting with providing coverage. Again, I truly appreciate your flexibility. I believe that is all that I have for today. Again, students, please make it a great day or not. Either way, the choice is totally up to you. I'm going to love you regardless. Would like for everyone to have a terrific Tuesday. Now over to our news crew. Today's lunch, pizza, cheese, and pepperoni, popcorn, chicken, and cornbread muffin, bacon cheeseburger on a swirl, on a swirl roll, manager's choice entree, sweet baked beans, assorted fresh vegetables, pineapple. Tomorrow's ugly holiday sweater day. Wear your tackiest sweater. Now a message from Ms. Ryan. Good morning, teachers and students. Today's game day. The Pointers, the boys and girls basketball teams, will be playing today against Middle River in the high school gym. So all students are invited to come out and attend. This is just a reminder that your admission is $2 to get into the game today. $2 for students. And again, students, you have two choices. Choice number one, go home. Come back at game time, 4 o'clock for the boys, 5 o'clock for the girls. If you plan on staying here in school, your choice number two is you need to be with a teacher. So if you already are part of an after-school club, you can be with that teacher. Otherwise, Ms. Bonning will be in her room, and she will house any students that plan on attending today's basketball game. No one should be roaming the hallways. No one should be roaming the gym area hallways downstairs. Uh, we ask that you are productive and you are somewhere. So you're either in with Miss Bonning or you've gone home. The uh, boys play at four, girls play at five, two dollar admission, plus we have concessions, so bring a couple extra dollars. Let's go point and have a good game. Trashy Fashion Club will meet this Wednesday until 3.30. No art club this week. Book club is tomorrow. We are doing a white elephant gift exchange. If you don't know what that means, see Miss Farrell on this web one. Now a message for Mr. Rizzi. Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. Just a few quick announcements. Thursday, after lunch at 1 o'clock, will be the math clash. We will go down by grade to the auditorium. The teachers will be down there to tell you exactly where to sit. Remember, 8th grade, blue and white. 7th grade, colors black and white. Also, it looks as if the 7th grade may have made a small move with attendance based on what Ms. Washington said earlier. We won't know the final attendance um, calculations until Thursday and then we'll make those calculations and we will make sure that the appropriate grade is, it has the points that they need. I can tell you now the eighth grade probably will be in third place based on attendance. Um, if you have any questions, please see me about the math clash or your math teacher. They should be signing kids up very soon for all the different events that we have. Now, for the last 10 years or so, maybe longer, I can't remember. I'm getting old. I've been reading some poetry one or two or three days before the math clash in honor of my love and respect for the sixth grade. So I'd like everyone to listen. And if you're in middle school right now and your teacher does not have morning announcements set up and you can't hear this, your life will not be the same. So here we go. I call this wonderful piece of art. Why a sixth grader is no better than the gum on the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> when I see a sixth grader, I have to laugh. It smells like a week since their last bath. <laughs> their brains and their heads are usually very small. These are the type of kids that get kicked out of the East Point Mall. <laughs> the sixth graders stumble down the hallway and annoy all they pass. I wouldn't be surprised if they're failing their easiest class. Sixth graders are known to be annoying and hyper. Instead of talking to them, I would rather change a disgusting old dirty diaper. <laughs> On their way to lunch, they wonder and scream, which way do I go? The memory of the sixth grader is sometimes very slow. 
Sixth grade conversations make my ears want to bleed. Eighth graders will stop at nothing to win and succeed. Everyone knows blue is the color of victory. Sixth graders who are red will be crying for all to see. Sixth grade boys remind me of funny little clowns. That is why they should prepare for the math clash beat down. The math clash will end with eighth grade glory. For the sixth grade, it will be a very embarrassing story. The eighth grade will win with perfect sportsmanship. The sixth grade teachers will go down with the ship. Sixth grade miracles happen once every 17 years. Just unexpected victory this year, or you'll go home in tears. I would like to thank the eighth grade for their support. And I would like to say to the sixth grade, the chances of you winning are a thousand to one, maybe more. Thank you for your time and your patience. And I look forward to the math clash next week. Any sixth graders in here right now? It's good, good. That's why it's run so smoothly in the morning because there's no sixth graders in here. Thank you. Have a good day. And now for the word of the week. We've learned that the word of the week begins with the letter D. It means a severe flood or to be overwhelmed with something. Today's clue. The 6th and 7th graders will experience this on Thursday when the 8th grade overwhelms them with academic and athletic powers at the math clash. Find the word on the Beyond the Word Wall poster and then find Principal Washington or Miss Bonning during the change of classes. Use the word in a sentence that shows you know the meaning and get a prize. Follow every rainbow until, you're, until you find your dream. Rogers and Hammerston. Thanks for watching. I'm Noah. And I'm Hope. Remember to pride out all that you do.